the cult of Chucky. Spoiler talk. I'm going to make this a little bit quick because I just want to talk about the twist in this film. So, the twist and cult of Chucky. Chucky has found a new ritual to where he can inhabit it multiple bodies at once. So, there are technically three good guy dolls in this movie and they're all converging on Nika and the psych ward that she's in. Um, at the same time, there's another Chucky head inside of Andy's house that Andy has kept. It is the same Andy that he shot in the face with the shotgun at the end of Curse of Chucky. So he, from, from time to time, he will come home and torture the head of that Chucky doll because he got rid of the body, so to speak, you know, until he opens a the safe again and pulls out another good guy doll with his hair cut and he sends it to with along with himself to the psych ward to save Nika. Now I was thinking the whole time that he somehow got a hold of this ritual and kind of transferred his soul into that body like Chucky has done multiples bodies of dolls. But no, it ended up being Chucky's body anyways. But it was a silly way of doing it. He could have just... I don't... I guess he didn't suspect it being coming alive. But I think he probably did. So he smuggled a gun inside of that good guy doll. Which was genius. So, of course, Chucky, now having this multiple thing of owning multiple bodies, he possesses one of these psych people in the psych ward and takes over his body and brainwashes his other chick who lost her son. I think she murdered her own son, to be honest with you, um, to do things for him as well. So it's kind of weird and kind of freaky. Now, safe to say, Chucky wants Nika to kill the the main guy of the psych ward, pretty much, because he's, he's done things to Nika. She doesn't know about it because he's hypnotized her not to remember shit. But Chucky kind of likes it, and he kind of hates it, because he doesn't know if he wants to respect it or just kill him because he's fucking crazy. When you got Chucky, a serial killer, thinking about trying to kill you or not kill you, because of how crazy you are, that is weird. That is twistedly weird. Okay? I've been watching this franchise since I was a kid. That's the first for me. So, obviously, he takes over Nika's body. So, Nika is no longer handicapped. She is now Charles Lee Ray. And she leaves the psych ward with Tiffany. And ironically, the Tiffany doll that's in the back seat, which is also alive. And then they drive off, leaving Andy locked up in his cell, psych ward thing that he was brought in because he committed himself. I don't know. It's weird. This was a weird-ass twist. I wish they could have kind of delved deeper, deeper into that whole multiple body personality type thing, but... Yeah, looks like they're going to set up for an eighth movie, so I'm not really too mad about it. But I kind of wish they would have answered a few more questions in this movie, to be honest, instead of going into the eighth movie. Yeah, I want to see another movie with Chucky in it, because Chucky is my favorite character. But just answer a few questions before you decide to go on to another movie, you know what I mean? That's probably another reason why I gave this movie a B-. minus. It's because they kind of just left it open. They left it too open, to be honest. But still, not a half-ass bad movie. I still enjoyed it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the twist for Cult of Chucky down below. Did you like the twist? Did you not like the twist? What worked? What didn't work for you? And I will see you guys in the next Chucky film.